Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here again. We're out at the uh, St. Louis Area Power Strokes Rally this year, and uh, we've got Terry Swisshelm here with his 97 F250 that if you've been on the forums or YouTube or anything in the last 10 years of any kind of 7.3 stuff, probably 15 years, uh, you, you probably recognize this truck going down the track. And if I'm not mistaken, it used to have a ladder rack in the bed. Yep. And uh, it, it went, it went pretty pretty quick and I'll let, let Terry talk about that in a minute but um, he's been kind enough to come out and let us video his truck and kind of tell about it and you know where he's one of the guys that pretty much got us into this watching his truck way back when going fast and going down to the BTS events and dyno competitions and I know y'all went to a few things with Zane and them with wide open and basically have been kind of the birthplace of the what I would call the, the diesel racing industry especially in these these older and in, in the 73 so if you don't mind tell us a little bit about like where the truck came from why you got into this kind of how long you've been doing it things like that well I've always wanted one when they first came out and I had a 72 Chevy that rusted out and I needed a new work truck and this was sitting behind the dealership. And when I seen it, I had to have it. <laughs> and uh, I bought it in August of 02. And uh, put the ladder rack on it that day in the toolbox. And then uh, had an accident at work. Set home for 15 months. And that's when uh, it was pretty much born. Kind of, kind of. Out of out of boredom and searching the internet and stuff right. like that, and, and you started getting yeah, into it. Back, so. did, back then, Swamp he was still in Texas. Yeah. Uh, Bean he wasn't. He he didn't have his shop yet. Yeah. And uh, well, I know when you got into this, of course, I was you know, I probably wasn't even driving yet, but like this industry like even even coming stuff didn't have really anything like 500 right. horsepower was a big deal and you know shots and them had some of those those super pullers and whatnot that that they were running but the 73 really had nothing, nothing. And, you know i i can remember watching the forums when when john from swamps was asking for people to give him injector cores so he could take them apart in his house at night and try and figure out how they worked yep to build a modified injector and then I know David Lott and them were building the Mini Me's right. back then, and uh, I mean that was really all there was as far as what I can remember performance. And then you know, BTS started doing things, and, and, and y'all got into these trucks, and you've right. you've kind of made this truck a passion. I, mean, I know you. I have, have uh, dyno slips with this truck from when it was bone stock all the way up through the thousand mods. That it's, <laughs> well, I, I noticed your. Uh, your, your log book a minute ago and we'll kind of go over that later I thought it was pretty interesting on on a truck that you know has been basically a powerhouse if you will for, for what it is for a 7.3 I know I know these things kind of for lack of a better word run in your blood I know your wife Wanda has this same truck but an extended cab version right that that uh, if I remember correct y'all used to call it the she devil she devil yeah now, and it's it, it runs on just leftover parts from this one yeah, I remember y'all would y'all would change things up on this truck, and then and then uh, put put basically like you said the leftovers on yep. on her truck. And I I know this is you know got tons of mods to it, and, and we'll kind of go over that in our next episode with you. Um, but I know you saw it at the dealership, and you know you you bought it, and kind of the rest is history, if you will. But why why an OBS? Why not a Chevrolet? Why not something else? What what I I've always well we had a. We had a 94 F-150, which was a Texas Cadillac that she was driving. And um, just when Ford come out with the 7.3, I had to have one, but I couldn't afford a brand new one, you know. Yeah. Still can't afford a brand new one. <laughs> right. And uh, just the time in my life when everything just kind of clicked. clicked. I seen this truck, and I'm one of the guys when I go truck shop, and I may shop for a year until... I see what I, and, and I, I don't know what I want until I see it, you know? I, I'm the same way when I bought my first Power Stroke. I guess not to blow my own horn or nothing, but like usually when a 16 year old 
gets money to buy a truck. It's the, whatever the first one they see is what they right. buy because now they have a license and they can go. Right. Well, I turned 16 in March and I wasn't able to, I, I was, I, let's say what, wasn't able, I did not buy a truck until September because I could not find the one I wanted. And it's kind of the same scenario. Like I didn't know what I really wanted until I, see it. Until I saw it, I drove it, there and it's was. mine. And yeah. I still have it to this day, kind of like you do. Um, how many miles were on it when you bought it? This truck had uh, 125,000. So in in the last however many years you've owned it since what, 02? So it's got 230,000 on it now. So you've got 230,000 on it still. I won't call it a daily driver, but you pulled your fifth wheel camper to the St. Louis area Power Strokes event. If, if, if I didn't have a company truck to drive, this would be my daily still, driver. And it's still doing what you want it to do, mm -hmm. even after all these years and abusing it and everything else on the planet and I'm sure when you go to fuel stop or just run around town you get tons of questions on everywhere yeah you know, it, it's the same story everywhere we go that like people always want to buy my power stroke or yeah. they their dad had one or their grandpa had one or yeah. similar case to you they they saw it new but couldn't afford it new so now they want to buy one or they bought one new started a family the truck had to go because you know single cab and it didn't fit or right. budget was wrong and now they want it back so these things are kind of becoming iconic i guess if you will to me kind of almost like the new age muscle car if, if right. you will even though i mean what this one was the upgraded version so 225 flywheel horsepower from the factory and probably what since you have dyno slip what 180 or so at the rear wheels yeah. factory thereabouts yep. thereabouts so but anyway, I mean, I can remember this truck from way back. You know, it's kind of one of the trucks that really got me more into this than, yeah, you was, know. It was 03 when we started making stuff. Well, I, I can remember on the forums at night, like, you know, typing away, looking at stuff. Everybody knew your username is Tubbs on there. Yeah. And, you know, like, we would wait for the next video to come out and things like that. So it was always, yeah. always neat to see this truck out. And it's, it's still... To this day you need to see it come out and be it's, it's still you know it's the same truck it was back then it's just the ladder rack's been taken off <laughs> and that's only because of the fifth wheel camper we got rid of the bumper pull and you know put the fifth wheel on there so the ladder rack had to go and now now it's it's retired the garage queen and it's, and, it's a garage and, queen and show, now. show truck in fact i had to wash the dust off of it you know <laughs> it, the water still bubbled up on it when i washed it but uh, it was it was tan when i brought it out it sits next to us a, a table saw you know <laughs> right well i appreciate you you know for what you've done for the industry itself and you know the the inspiration that like for myself what i've gotten from the truck and also for like bringing it out and, and letting our viewers see the truck and you know and and learn some back history of the seven threes and and why they are what they are so i really appreciate everything no i appreciate you yeah well i mean we've been friends a long time so this is always right. cool so guys yeah, as, as always if you like our videos like and subscribe to our youtube channel let us know if there's anything you'd like to see us do cover any special trucks that you've seen that you want to know more information about always send emails in info at cp attic thanks